Chapter 170 Hazel was overjoyed, and he clasped his hands together as he thanked Alex. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Anderson. I will definitely reflect on myself and I promise this will never happen again. Okay, Alex nodded in satisfaction. After that, Alex looked at Matthew who was still in shock at this time. Alex asked him in a faint manner, so, Matthew, tell me. Did you really think that I lied to you so that I could cheat the Lane family of your money? Matthew's legs softened immediately and he knelt down before he said, I dare not. I wouldn't dare to. I was just confused for a moment but I've never lost confidence in you, Mr. Anderson. I am now completely convinced that you are the true master in the metaphysics circle. Please forgive me, Mr. Anderson. After he spoke, Matthew grabbed Watson by his collar before he yelled, asshole. Kneel down and apologize to Mr. Anderson now. Watson was already trembling in fear at this time. As soon as Matthew yelled at him, Watson knelt down before Alex and he started trembling as he apologized. Mr. Anderson, please forgive me. I really did not mean to doubt you or cause any trouble for you. I did not intentionally do it. Matthew shook his head before he slapped Watson a couple of times until his cheeks started swelling. Watson did not dare to move at all. He continued kneeling on the ground as he cried. At a time like this, Watson was not afraid of getting beaten at all. Instead, he was afraid that Alex would summon thunder and lightning from the sky to strike him, and that he would drop dead like Gary Depp. Daisy's face had also turned pale from shock. She would never have imagined that Alex was actually a master with such extraordinary powers. Initially, she was so mad at Alex because she thought that he really lied to her father, and she was planning to look for an opportunity to avenge her father. However, now it seemed as though she could only worship him because he was really incredible. Daisy was also afraid that Alex would still be mad at her younger brother. Therefore, she hurriedly knelt down before she said, Mr. Anderson, my younger brother is still young and ignorant. Please be magnanimous and forgive him. When Alex saw the three members of the Lane family kneeling before him and begging for forgiveness, his heart softened immediately. Therefore, he told them to stand up before he said, Since all of you are willing to repent and admit your mistakes, I will not take this to heart. However, if something like this happens again in the future, don't blame me for being cruel. As soon as they heard his words, the Lane family quickly bowed their heads and thanked him. At this time, Faria had mixed feelings as she stood among the crowd of people as she witnessed the scene unfolding before her. Previously, she had always thought that Alex was simply very well-versed and knowledgeable in antique trades because he was just an ordinary man with an ordinary background. Unexpectedly, he was actually hiding his strength. Faria was really shocked by what she had witnessed today. She had never seen anything like this. At this time, Alex took a step forward before he looked at the crowd of people and said, Listen to me. As soon as he started speaking, everyone raised their heads and looked at Alex respectfully. No one dared to make any sound at all. Alex looked around the crowd before he said in a stern manner, I do not want anyone to mention anything that happened here today to anyone else. I want this to be kept a secret among us. If anyone leaks this matter out to the public, I will make sure that he ends up with the same fate as Gary Depp. All of the guests were shocked because it seemed as though Alex did not want anyone to know about his strength and power. He was really a very humble man. He was nothing like Gary, who only wanted attention and publicity wherever he went. Gary was nothing compared to Alex. At this time, everyone clasped their fists together as they bowed before Alex and said, Yes, we will obey your instructions. Mr. Anderson. Alex nodded in satisfaction before he said, in that case, everyone can be dismissed now.